Wisconsin and welcome to the first Five at Five with Sabrina Abuzara and Patricia Matthew. And now for your top story. The WASC, or the Wisconsin Association of School Councils, traces its beginnings back to the University of Wisconsin-Madison in the year 1935. Now fast forward to 2013 and Michelle McGrath is the current WASC Executive Director. The WASC is an organization composed of enthusiastic and driven young leaders all across the wonderful state of Wisconsin. These young leaders unite to expand leadership and really focus on the development of it amongst the youth of our generation. Member schools come from various different backgrounds, from parochial to private and elementary to high school. The WASC has several guiding principles that make it such an astounding organization. A few of these principles include goal setting, diversity, communication, and decision making. WASC alumni have the pleasure to work at grand places such as Google, Facebook, the White House, Mayo Clinic, and many, many more. WASC alumni have also become lawyers, teachers, doctors, and student council advisors. Yes, and in order to really understand the WASC, you must be familiar with the fancy lingo. The WASC stands for the Wisconsin Association of School Councils. NASC stands for the National Association of School Councils. JAM stands for Junior High and Middle School. SHS stands for Senior High School. IGNITE stands for Inspiring Greatness negotiating indifference, and tackling the extraordinary conference. And last but not least, SDA stands for Student Delegate Assembly. There's more than just acronyms and history behind the WASC though. There's the Governing Board. That's right, Patricia. And the Governing Board is essentially the voice of the WASC. There's a state SHS president and vice president, as well as a state JAM president and vice president. Within each of the six regions, there is also a regional president, vice president, and secretary at both the SHS and JAM level. All of these individuals compose the WASC governing board. The governing board has four meetings throughout the year in which financial issues to regional reports are discussed. If you're interested to run for a governing position, check out the WASC website in the description box. And that's it for today, folks! My name is Kira Fox. And my name is Amelia Wendorski. We're your WASC urologists. Every year, a front of great events hit the WASC. The first is the Fall Elementary Conference, forecasted for Madison Children's Museum and Capitol Building this coming October. Once again, we're expecting WASC's elementary leaders to have an amazing hands-on learning experience at one of the two conferences specifically for their age group. The conference will have a high of two keynote speakers and four sectionals with no lows. Don't forget your creativity, teamwork, and character. Next, for those of you headed to the Kalahari this October for the Fall Leadership Institute, expect an amazing time and a great way to start the year. This conference has keynote speakers, sectionals with officer training, networking with student leaders blown in from across the state, and a chance to outline goals and plan for the upcoming school year. This two-day conference stresses goal setting, team building, and serving the needs of a school community. Across the state, the effects of the WASC will be felt in November during the regional fall summits. This one-day event includes a keynote speaker and sectionals that teach the WASC standards, while advisors have the important chance to network. To find out more information about the summit headed your way, go to WASC.org. Ignite, inspiring greatness, negotiating indifference, and tackling the extraordinary. This one day conference hits Madison in February and is a great conference for student leaders from any organization, NHS, sports, and other clubs to attend, featuring sectionals and keynotes from well-known community leaders and a chance to plan for your school allows students to leave with a plan of action to take back to their schools and communities. The Elementary State Conference is a two-day conference for elementary students in grades 4 through 6, forecasted for March. The program assists in starting, developing, and strengthening any elementary student leadership program. This conference includes a keynote speaker, 
team building activities, mentoring from host school leaders, share sessions for both students and adults, and more. Spring is forecast to have two amazing state conferences, one JAM and one SHS. These conferences include motivational speakers, super sectionals, small group breakouts, a banquet and awards presentation, a dance and entertainment, and a reflection ceremony. They are held in Madison and parts of the conferences take place in the state capitol. Every year during each state conference, the WASC sponsors a competition program. Although this, con although this competition is optional, it is a great way for councils to showcase all their efforts throughout the year. Student councils can submit entries in categories such as writing, prepared speech, scrapbook, banner, and more. Judges will award a gold, silver, or bronze rating. In addition, the state conference includes the State Delegate Assembly, SDA, a meeting where the WASC considers and acts upon old and new business, state projects, proposed amendments to the bylaws, and other items of business. This event is valuable because it allows any WASC member school to understand what is happening at the executive level and vote. In the summer, an intensive three-day leadership camp is forecasted for adults. It is focused on personal leadership development and the development of leadership in the students and people the participants serve. This course is a must for any administrator, coach, advisor, educator, or other professional working with young adults. Participants will leave with a plethora of resources and materials and gain valuable ideas for their own leadership journey as well as their school and business's own vitality and culture. Participants are also able to earn up to three graduate credits and meet individual PDP requirements with this course. Leadership Camp is an amazing experience for student council members, club leaders, and any student hoping to gain new skills and have a great time. We could take a whole video to explain camp. In fact, we have. To see the Leadership Camp informational video, see the link in this video's description. To learn more about WASC events, visit www.wasc.org or watch the events video. The link is in the description. WASC members have gone on to do amazing things, work in highly accredited places such as the White House, Apple, and Google, among many others. The future is forecast to be bright for any WASC member. And with that, now we will take a short break. And I'm Craig. Are you looking for an amazing leadership experience? Well, look no further. Five days of amazing leadership education and learning only available in one place. WASC Leadership Camp, a place where experienced leaders help teach the leaders of the future. Leadership Camp teaches you many amazing lessons while allowing you to learn lessons yourself. When you get to Leadership Camp, you will be, you will be put into smaller groups known as a family or a council. You will work and bond with them for the rest of the time at camp. You will also be rooming with people from your council and learning how to talk to people you don't know. But wait, there's more. Apply early enough next year for the early bird discount or fill out the scholarship form for a chance to get a scholarship to leadership camp. This camp is truly life-changing and it will enhance your leadership skills to their full potential. It's amazing. It's off the hook. It's, it's off, off the, the shizzle. Lead on at leadership camp. six traffic tackling areas, otherwise known as regions. This just in. The Whitetail region, aka Region 1, is free to roam, but be alert for those Whitetails. Passing through Eau Claire and Superior would n will not only be the scenic route, but there is no congestion on our map. Beware! Our sister channel has just warned us about the Hodag on the prowl in the Northlands, or Region 2. The Hodag is commonly found in Rylander area, not far from Stevens Point. On the bright side, the Hodag has scared enough cars away, leaving the highways free and clear. If you're thinking about making your way over to Lambeau Field for a Packer game, Region 3 will be glad to have you. What would be the perfect addition to a Packer-filled day? A world-famous Sheboygan broad, of course. Traffic is a little heavy around the Sheboygan area, but waiting for the broad is so worth it. Now, if you are ever interested in visiting your news team here with you today, you will first have to battle the severe traffic in the metropolitan region. Region 4. 
Once you finally arrive in Region 4, you can have a sports-packed time. If you choose, you can visit a Milwaukee Bucks game, the Milwaukee Brewers, and even the Milwaukee Admirals. Have no fear. Justice will be served in Region 5, the capital region. Plan ahead when traveling around Region 5 because traffic can get a little crowded. Grab your raft for Region 6, Big Rivers. You can float on through this region without any traffic trouble. On your way through, be sure to visit La Crosse and Toma. That's it for today, but be sure to check back around Rush Hour on the Regions tab under Organization on the WISC website. And now for your special report. Well, by now, I bet you're interested in joining the WISC. Well, lucky for you, it's straightforward, easy, and you won't regret it. The WASC website, www.wasc.org, has the membership application. Just look under the Download Center tab. In the Membership folder that's there, you'll find the membership application, which you can download to print and fill out. Filling out the membership form is the first step to get you and your school to participate in the exciting adventures that await you in the WASC. Your entire school can join for the one school membership fee. If any problems or questions come up, feel free to contact the WASC office through their email, stateoffice at wasc.org. The WASC is also connected through social media outlets, such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Follow at WASC Leader on Instagram and Twitter, and search us on Facebook. All in all, membership with the WASC enables your school to participate in an immense amount of events and activities. Not only are the events fun, but they also teach many useful skills you'll be able to demonstrate daily. In addition, you'll discover that amidst all this fun, you will have made connections and met new friends to last a lifetime. On behalf of the Region 4 News Team, thank you for joining us for WASC 5 at 5. We hope that you walk away with a new perspective on the WASC and what we stand for. Whichever region you belong to, no matter your grade, school, or role in student council, we want you as a part of our WASC family. Please don't hesitate to contact the WASC State Office or visit the WISC webpage if you have any questions. We hope to see you at an upcoming WISC event. Thanks again from all of us here at the Region 4 News Team.